Jarrell Casey, a.k.a. Tut Tut, a.k.a. Ice Cream Cone, and the rest of the defensive linemen coming at you right after the bumper. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below unless you're a Jags fan! What's good guys? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. Today we're covering the big hog mollies, the defensive linemen. I believe we're going to keep five on this overall roster, starting with Jeffrey Simmons, Jarrell Casey, Daquan Jones, Austin Johnson, and Brent Urban. I believe we could potentially keep six, and that sixth man would be Matt Dickerson. I don't have him there as of now, but it is potentially. But let's go ahead, guys. Let's hop right into him. Let's start out with Brent Urban. All right, guys, start off, we got Brent Urban. Going to this fifth year into the league, not overly productive as far as his career goes, but he did have a career year last season. I could see him potentially starting for us, that opposite of Jarrell Casey to begin the year, rotating with Austin Johnson and Daquan Jones being that 0-1 technique for us. Daquan's just a little bit more thicker, but Brent Urban is no slight of build. He is uh, 6'7", 295, so he's a big dude. And he's pretty athletic for as big as he is. I believe he is definitely going to help us stop the run. He's not going to be a big pass rusher for us. And he's probably going to come out on passing downs, I believe. But he does have potential. And as Jeffrey Simmons is recovering, he could definitely give us a second option. But let's go ahead, guys. Let's hop into Austin Johnson next. All right, guys, next we got Austin Johnson, 6'4", 315, former second-round pick for us, and just hasn't really panned out for us. We are hoping to see the next step forward for him. We would just like to see him be a little bit more explosive, be a little bit more violent in that front seven, but uh, I believe he's going to be a rotational piece for us. I think he's going to make the roster. He is on that bubble right now, as Jim Wyatt has, has uh, stated a couple times now. So if he is cut, it's a possibility. We just need to see the next step forward for him. He's just a below average athlete. And as long as his technique's improved, he got a little stronger the offseason. Once they throw pads on a training cap, it can make all the difference for him. But as of now, I have him making that 53-man roster. But next, guys, let's go ahead and hop into Quan Jones. All right, guys, next we got Daquan Jones, 6'4", 322, going to his sixth year into the league. Supremely underrated defensive lineman. I believe he is probably one of the top five best against the run. So his stats aren't stellar. He's not going to throw up big tackles for losses. He's not going to have a whole lot of sacks. Last year he didn't have a sack, but doesn't mean he was not productive for us. He was a big key piece of us having a top 10 defense last year. And I look forward to him being part of this defense a couple more years. That is why we re-signed him to a big contract last year. And most people are like, well, I don't even know. Nobody's even heard of Daquan Jones if they're not a Tennessee Titans fan. And if you are, Shame on you, because he is a big part of our defense, even though he might not have all the stats for us. He's definitely going to start the whole season. He might play that 0-1 technique to begin the year. And as Jeffrey Simmons is recovering and all that good stuff, him and Brent Urban, they're going to rotate that, that middle or that end position. And I am really happy with our front seven this upcoming season. I believe we're going to be amazing against the run, and big part of it is Daquan Jones. But let's go ahead, guys. Let's hop in Jeffrey Simmons next. All right, guys, next we have our first-round draft pick this year, Jeffrey Simmons. Coming into the league, his pro comp is Nagama Kinsu. So if that tells you anything about his upside, coming into the draft, everybody was saying he is a top-five talent in this last year's draft, and I look forward to having him have that. The reason he fell to us down at 18 was because he tore his ACL. And as an athlete myself, a personal trainer, all that good stuff, I've suffered an ACL injury, and I know how hard it is to come back for us. And we know he had the video posted earlier last week where he's running a straight line, and that is a big part of it. Yes, it is. But he still has a lot of scar tissue needs to break down, and he has to let that knee recover. But once he gets into those more cutting motions, that's when we're going to be ready for him to almost come back. So where he tore it, where he's at now... I'm looking at where he will be ready to hit the field about mid to late November as a potential. But we know we're going to be careful with him. We don't want to rush him back. So we could potentially see him come back into the game 
maybe December, and if we're playing in January, even better. He is going to be a talent for us, and even if he does come back this year, don't look for him to just be a key starter. He does have potential to do that, but we just want to ease him into this year. It's almost like a red shirt. He's going to play for us. He's just going to rotate in there. Daquan Jones, Brent Urban, Austin Johnson, they're just going to come in off the field, and he might rotate in. Even if he is listed as the starter, he's not going to play a whole lot of snaps. He's going to play drives, I believe, and then he'll come off. And I believe he has the sky's the limit for the kid. He's going to help us this next year and the year after that and the year after that. And eventually he's probably going to uh, – take Jarrell Casey's role after he's either slowing down or and eventually retires. I don't think Jarrell's ever going to sign a free agent deal with any other team other than the Titans. He's just too loyal to us. But I believe the sky's the limit for this kid. But let's go ahead. Let's hop into the man. Let's go Jarrell Casey. All right, guys. Next, we got Jarrell Casey going to his ninth year into the league, finished with seven sacks last year, and has finished with 11 tackles for loss in five of the last six years. So he's still up in that upper echelon. He is getting a little bit older, but he hasn't showed any signs of slowing down yet. But as he does age, look for him to fill that more mentor role. And we already know he's a key part of the defense as a co-captain with Wesley Woodyard. Look for that to continue. Uh, we still got a few more years left for him. And like I said, eventually Jeffrey Simmons will potentially take that spot. But Jarrell Casey is a good dude. Uh, hopping into the intro, Tut Tut is a nickname his grandma gave him. And Ice Cream Cone is one of Dean Pease's... Uh, uh, nicknames for him because he's big up top, but he's got skinny legs. So a little little tidbits for you. But this guy's the limit still this upcoming year. He could still have another Pro Bowl year. He's already had four what's five. And I would like to see him continue this with uh, the Titans and hopefully we'll have a couple more years of him though. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my overall predictions for the defensive linemen for the five that I think we're going to keep. Let me know down in the comments below if you think Matt Dickerson might beat out Austin Johnson, uh, who you think our overall three are going to be starting the season, and if you think Jeffrey Simmons is going to come back before the end of the year, or if you just think he's going to sit out the whole year. Uh, let me know if you think Jarrell Casey is going to be have another Pro Bowl season. But other than that, guys, as of right now, we are at 76 followers as of my taping recording right now. So go remember 100 by tomorrow night is my overall goal. And hopefully we'll send you out that jersey. Uh, just got to make sure you're subscribed and that puts you in the drawing. But let me know, guys, and we'll see you all tomorrow.